My name is Jean Young and I am a fifth year PhD student at MIT. I work on programming languages, which means that I think about the way people are programming today, the way they should be thinking about their programs, and I design programming models that help people think about programming better. As people are doing more social computing, I think that we're going to need to think about privacy in a different way. The current, in current programming paradigms, Privacy enforcement is going to weigh programmers down, and here's why. So let's say you have all these people sharing their locations on some social network, and they each have their own policies for how these locations are to be shared. Let's say that you know I share my location with my close friends, you share your location only with yourself, and somebody else doesn't care, they share their location with everyone. Well, in order to enforce these different policies in a program, everywhere that the location flows, you really need to consider where is this location coming from, who is it coming from, what are their policies, and where is it going. So to show a user profile, to show the location on there, we're going to need to reason about this. If we want to do a count of how many people are at a given location, let's say MIT right now, you're going to need to consider what the policies are. And if you want to show the popular locations, there the policies also matter and you're going to need to enforce them properly as well. And so even if you use a library that helps you manage some of your policies, at any point uh, you have, the programmer, you as the programmer, becomes responsible for making sure that you remember to enforce the policies. And if at any of these places you forget, you risk leaking user location information to anyone. And this is putting a lot of trust on the programmer. Shooting. Okay. What I propose is we think about programming with these privacy policies differently. And we do for privacy what garbage collection did for manual memory management. That is, we let the language and the runtime system take more responsibility for enforcing these policies. And the paradigm I propose is this. I call it policy agnostic programming. And it allows the programmer to separately declare privacy policies from the rest of the functionality. And the programmer can then rely on the runtime system to produce outputs that adhere to the policies. I have a language called Jeeves that is implemented as a Scala library, well, an embedded domain-specific language in Scala, that lets you declare policies such as only my friends can see my location, everybody else sees what city I'm in, um, along with the classes that describe um, data. So for instance, with the user class, with the location class, you um, define these policies saying who can see what. And then the core functionality, the programs that show the locations on the profile, that show the number of people at every location, that show the top popular locations, all this functionality now doesn't have to deal with what the policies are on each individual user's data. And what I have been working on for my PhD thesis is, first of all, defining what the Jeeves runtime should look like. And so, defining the semantics for how this language works, what does it mean to propagate these policies, what does it mean to show the right output to the right viewer, um, and how, how you make this work in practice. So what does the implementation look like? How do you make it scale? How do you program in it? How do you design the programming interface for a language like this? And for the rest of my PhD, I want to look at how you can use Jeeves as part of a web framework. 
And so some other crucial components of a web framework are the database. And so what I want to look at is how you can extend the guarantees across the database boundary, and also the front end. If you have a language where the policies are automatically enforced, how do these guarantees extend across the front end, and how might you have to change the way you program there to show the right thing to viewers who might not have access? And once we have all this figured out, I think it's incredibly fun to think about what we can do if we can enforce privacy policies much easier than we could before. And so one problem I've been thinking about is how can we think of other systems as social networks that we might not be thinking of now? For instance, massive open online courses and the grading problem. How can we come up with grading schemes for these massive open online courses if we thought of it as a social network and we could enforce these complex policies for relatively low cost. And so what I leave you with is the question of how would you write your programs if you could separate the policy problem from the functionality problem and what sorts of systems could you build if you thought about things with this new paradigm.